a Sunday afternoon and it is about to storm but it's about three four o'clock I figure once the storm comes in it's, there's gonna be no fishing afterwards so we're gonna roll the dice I'm grabbing one rod and we're gonna throw some big baits like the bone we'll see what happens man I, I like my chances wind kicked up a little there's a little chop on the water and uh, man down here in Florida in the summer it seems like the fishing gets so tough but anytime before or after a storm like it's like you got to get rained on to get bit that's the best time so we're gonna give it a shot see what happens all right here we go so this lake has a ton of eelgrass and this bait kind of is like a, a floating bait so hopefully we can toss it over some eelgrass get a big monster to come up out and take a swing at it there's some decent sized fish in this lake i've only been fishing here for a little bit of time so i caught one on a clash nine here a while back you know like a three three and a half pounder so anyways i figure we're about to get rained on so we might as well swing for the fences i just brought the run rod tied the ball I'm on one of my new favorite baits to throw um, one of my other videos you can check out this bait gets completely destroyed by a fish monster fish so I've been uh, tying it on quite a bit lately now so we'll see what happens man as you guys can see it's it's winds picking up it's really dreary out it's about to storm so we just gotta sling it around see what happens God, there we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Nice. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. There it is. What do we got here? Nice. The old ball him, baby. Come on. Oh, shoot. There we go. Nice. There's one. There's one. Not a monster, but not a bad one either. Oh, here we go, guy. Oh, let me get this quad hook got it pin pretty well sorry about that brother get my rusty ass pliers unstuck okay guy i'm sorry guy there we go heck yeah nice there's one let's check you out guy yo ballin baby nice my new favorite bait uh, 16 and shoot what do we got when we had 16 and a half inches oh well, the rain's picking up a little so far no lightning though I'll take it I'll get rained on all day I don't care about that 16 and a half And he is ten and three quarters. There you go, homie. Ooh, Ooh that was a good one.
so I just wanted to say a couple things about the video today. It's a short video. It's super nasty out, getting stormed on. Saw some uh, plenty of thunder and lightning off in the distance. So decided I wanted to live to fish another day, get off the water. Uh, today I just went out, didn't have much time, so I grabbed the uh, the Balam 245. I just got this bait not that long ago. It's the third time I've thrown it. Um, you'll see I caught a fish on it. Um, started raining as soon as I got out, caught one on it, very exciting. Uh, the three times I fish it, it's gotten bit. It's always awesome when you're fishing a bigger bait and you're trying to learn how to, you know, how to the action of it and such. And I've really fallen in love with this bait. It's just a phenomenal bait. Uh, Multi-jointed, when you think of that, you know, I always think of a Buka Bull Shad that's really S swimmy. And uh, this bait's really not like that, man. The um, it's got a decent sized head and the first joint, the first joint here uh, behind the head is not a very, um, it's a real tight joint. You know, it doesn't have a lot of uh, wobble to it. So, you know, you get more of your swimming action from these two joints back here towards the tail, but it's got a really subtle swimming action, man. It's really not a, a really aggressive s -y swim like, like a bull shad, which, I, it's awesome. It's just super subtle. You know, you can burn this thing. Uh, it's I think I believe it's designed so it can be burned really quick and it fishes great. But I honestly, the retrieve I've been doing the whole time since I've started fishing it, I really fairly quickly and I pause it. That's all I do on the pause or any kind of twitch. This bait will swim and it'll kind of nose down and give like a nice flash. And you'll see when you're fishing it, and you get closer to the kayak, you'll see that flash and you'll see that belly flash, man, it's beautiful. And I think it just calls fish from a long, long ways away. I'm fishing this lake. I'm kind of cruising along the shoreline. I was letting the wind just push me along the shoreline and it look, probably looks like I'm just chucking it out in the middle into no man's land, but I'm chucking it out deeper and just kind of working this bait over the deeper eelgrass that's in this lake, bringing it up to me shallow, um, you know, I've gotten bit the first time I got bit on it I was throwing this bait over submerged hydrilla out in the middle of the lake just thrown out there and I've gotten bit throwing this bait just working it parallel to um to lily pads along the shoreline so really versatile bait I've thrown it a lot of different water clarity you know three different water clarities and colors and it's gotten bit so I guess I I picked the right uh the right color when I when I randomly chose it off of uh hookup tackle so Man, check this out. The Ballum 245. It's definitely, definitely one to check out. 